So Rocket Racing has been out for just over a week now, and I'm sitting at Diamond 2, which is just around the top 200 players in the game at the moment. I thought I'd show how races feel at the upper ranks of the game with only a week of gameplay, and show how much more competitive it's already getting. We'll also be discussing issues with the current state of the game, and ways they can improve it for Season 1 early next year. I thought this was also a good time to mention that Mr. Swaggles and I are working on Rocket Racing and Rocket League, which is already really coming together, so stay tuned for that. But now onto the races, hope you guys enjoy. Bone Cavern 2, the most boring... 2 map. You don't love this one? Um, can't say it's my favorite. What would you say is overall the most boring map? Day drifting. But what was, uh, was that a trick question? Uh, outside oh. of like beginner maps. Outside of beginner maps? Yeah. Um, that's a good question. Um, probably puddle jumper. Like just the single I one. I can't think of, I can't think of it right now. But I was okay. going to say, like, might be a hot take, but I feel like Olympus is kind of trash. Olympus is kind of bad. You're right. I don't like Olympus. There's a lot of, like, boring parts that don't feel fast. This guy used his uh, turbo really early. Good. I find that um, people don't really use the drafting enough to their advantage. I think it's broken. It's absolutely busted. Did I take that from you? <laughs> what did you? Did did you I, just... I sat on you. I thought I thought I took the the boost oh, no, from you. Oh no! On my screen, I just missed it. Oh, nice. Thank you. Some parts of the maps just feel so unsatisfying because like you cannot not go at 570. Yeah. I wish they had like, I feel like if they had more detail and stuff on the walls, you might feel like you're still going fast. You know what I mean? Right. It's more so like just like having more things to do like in the, in the races. I don't know. I went so fast that like I didn't get any of those. Yeah. I wonder if that like the, like Unreal I think would be cool if you only got like the crazy maps. That's what I'm saying. Like three days to find a match. True. I I think that like there's just so much potential to like make these so complicated that like you have to be like acing the maps to really get the dubs. You know? Yeah. I'm I'm just curious what they're gonna do with all the feedback. I hit a red. I hit a red oh. too. I thought I was gonna lose it, like lose first place because of it too. I just yoink second off you, Danny. <laughs> Dude, if, I, if I didn't hit that red, that was mine. The top three podium. Look at that. Love to see it. Is this Anaconda? Uh, oh, heck yeah. I think so, yeah. dazrin has been going crazy with like the trying to do world record on this thing. I saw. They're, they're supposed to be adding uh, like time trials and leaderboards and stuff. Yeah. So that's, that's pretty hard. I wonder if you can fight your own ghost and stuff too. That'd be cool. I raced myself in rocket racing. We've got Scorpion Enjoyers in the front here. I beat myself a hundred times in Rocket Race. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, excuse me? Wait, wait a second. <laughs> um, here's another okay. thing, too. Um, I, uh, it's... Honestly, okay, never mind. <laughs> Alright, but... You know what's really frustrating in this game? When you get a juicy 90% boost and the guy in front of you just doesn't move his car. <laughs> yep. And you just get stuck to him. Isn't that lovely? I love it. What do you think really, of cars really like to the depth. giving like demos and stuff? What do you think of that? Is that, <laughs> is that, is that an interesting, interesting concept? If they, or fix regular, if they fix regular bumps, yes. I don't know. That would make me so mad. The amount of times that I'm like, I got a perfect drift and then like Obama Gaming 420 just drives in a straight line and destroys it. Like, I would be so mad if it also demoed me. True. So I, I don't know how I feel about that one. I don't know, but sometimes you get spun out and you're even longer, like, re recovery time. That's I don't true. know. I'm pretty sure if you hold down on the D-pad, you can reset your car. Oh, really? That's new to me. I did not know that. Was, it, was that you that told me that? Uh, no, you saw it on a YouTube comment. Oh, yeah. Next time you spin out, try it to, to confirm. Sounds good to me. quiet up here. 
Dude, where are you? I thought I just caught up. This is like the the front pack. Oh, I'm the I'm the I'm the pack in front of the front pack. Dang it. Bro is the pack. What the Oh no. Oh man, I'm just zooming. <laughs> oh my. I don't even think that was that fast. I don't think it was a 150 at all. It was like, yeah, 157. Not even good. I feel like a diamond, you shouldn't be in Puddle Jumper 1 anymore. I feel like you should be Puddle, Puddle Jumper 2, right? Like, yeah. At least. I feel like I get this map like all the time. Yeah, it's boring, really man. It's like boring. It. it is boring. I don't know if it's a strat too to like try to like really like mess with the drafting angles and stuff of people. I don't know. It could be, but it feels like it's something that's like not super worth focusing on. At least here. Right. I mean? Maybe that'd be like a like a top 500 strat. Oh, I just hit a red. Also, it's like I don't like to I don't like to turbo if I'm behind someone drafting anyway because I'm already gaining speed. At least that's how it feels. Yeah. Oh boy, well, doing this. Now my picture is just Peter Griffin, man. So troll. There's a Peter Griffin in front of me as well. Trevs, your, your ears look cool in the race. My disco oh, llama. Yeah. This is the most bumpy, bumpy race I've had in a while. It's so bad when you're in the pack, dude. <laughs> it has a name, The Pack. The Pack, yeah. It's a freaking horror movie back here. Oh, my lines, my drift. Get off my cheeks, Trev. I gotta recover from seven. It's time. What the? No! I just, oh, I, oh, you passed me. I ramped off a rock oh. into the, into like the, I don't even know. I went out to the canyon. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I was going to win too. I just hit the rock. It's either I make a huge mistake and I lose or I like do all the risky strats and win first place. Also noted, I got 5% for a second place. Interesting. Okay. Okay. It, it's got to depend on like how many people are in the race too. It has to do with like who's in the rank too. Like if there's higher level players in the lobby, I don't know. I would like to hope so. I think lobby size has something to do with it. Well, this is an eight player lobby, right? So. Cause I remember seeing something on Twitter where they're like, we're more, we're being more generous with like points on like smaller lobbies or something. Cause I guess that was even worse than it is now. I mean, yeah, but. I feel like the smaller lobbies are easier to win. I don't know. It's kind of weird. That's what I'm saying. Like, you get less in the smaller lobby. Oh, I see. But it was even less than it is now. I find using the turbo here is not great, by the way. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like I still haven't figured out the best times to use it on this map. What the heck just happened to me? Did you guys I, get the miss checkpoint bug on that turn? Yeah, most of the time, yeah. It like says like, oh. Oh, he's just too far. Sometimes I see those birds and I think they're a car. <laughs> I'm like, oh damn, someone's someone's doing some crazy tricks across the middle. <laughs>
Oh, Danny. Hello. I think we were the only people that used that skip up top. Yeah, it is good. It's sketchy though. I find it to be really sketchy. It's ske it is probably the most sketchy like of the uh, skips for sure. Mmm, I like that little little hop. I mean, you you, you saw my video. Yeah, but those uh those like twenty five maps worth of stuff. <laughs> twenty six actually, mind you. True. I try to drift on that wall too. It's kind of tough. It's very sketchy, but I think it is uh, very useful because the double boosters almost did you almost not make it. <laughs> yeah, dude, I hit the tent and I did like a triple barrel roll off of it. Oh my god! Like, look, we're the two using it, and look where we're at. It's kind of busted. Wait, are you guys going over the ramp? Yeah, uh, right after the finish line, you go over like that thing with like the bumpy ramp. Try to get two here. Oh my god. That last little turn there is kind of nice. I like using that like little curve part on the outside. I uh, royally screwed myself. Oh no! So did you guys see? Oh, uh, oh Sidewinder! Did you guys see uh, that RLCS lowered the, <laughs> the age to 13? Dude, <laughs> um, I'm I'm not a fan of that. I'm not gonna comment. I'm commenting. I think it's really stupid. Aren't it's labor laws like kind of? Worse. Aren't labor laws kind of like in question here, a little bit? I don't know. Is it is it under like the performance like category like like a child actor would be? Um, maybe. That's the only way I could like imagine that they would be able to do that. Well, because like orgs, right? They like technically are under a contract. Yeah. So can you just not compete under an org if you're under like the I don't know. labor wage? I don't know. It's considered a sponsorship, maybe. So I don't know. Either way, I'm not a fan because I feel like... Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm not a fan of that either. What just happened to me? It's it's going to make the scene more immature. I feel like, I feel like content and interviews are going to not be as good. Like, just because people need... I don't know. I don't know. People need more life experience, I think. And right. Putting that kind of pressure on... Do you like can imagine as a 13-year-old? Like, what were you doing as a 13-year-old? Uh, i tell you what, I would not put 13-year-old me in front of a camera or in front of a crowd of thousands of people. Right. Just want to see how that uh, all plays out, huh? Yeah. Apparently Fortnite's is also 13. Third, yeah, because it's the E for everyone rating, right? Now. Yeah. Or like their eSport is a, is 13. Yeah. Um, and I don't know how like their stuff is. I don't really keep up with Fortnite eSports. All I know is uh, Booga won the World Cup the one time. That's about all of the, the intel I got. It's a pretty fun map. Kind of just vibing. I, I love this map. Dude, we got this map like four times in a row the other night and Trev got first like every single time. Oh, hi. Not a fan of this, uh, this part though. It's kind of a weird, I don't know, the hazards in are in a weird spot there. Yeah. Unsatisfying. Also, very easy to get freaking bumped into the hazards by people. Did that just happen to you? <laughs> yes, as I was saying it. 
Oh, that's great. You see that? Oh, uh, yeah, that. did the same thing <laughs> as you were doing it. Save in mind. I respect it. Jesus. Oh, come on. Not too bad. Oh, I went Considering under I trolled like this. <laughs> 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 oh, seventh. Proof. Considering I went in that in that one part after the the like the triple windy part, there's like that other one that's like very vertical. I went on the ceiling both of the set, the first and second lap, I think. Hey, Danny, we're playing on Rocket Racing. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Dude, that was that was actually hilarious, though. Oh, I like this map, Rocket Racing. Oh, we got Rocket Racing. What's the what's the updated take? Are the, are the green boosters on that first turn bait, or are they worth it? Uh, they're kind of bait. I got pushed into it. Oh, I missed one arrow too. And definitely the waterfall's bait. 100% established. Yeah. And <laughs> somebody like you do know there's a waterfall there, right? <laughs> and it's a shortcut. Yeah, they don't realize like I that, about that, that the fact that it's bait. The turbo booster is just like way better. This papaya Paya guy is causing some issues. I'm drafting on him. Oh, I'm smashing into the wall. <clears throat> yeah, you're getting in my way. I keep bumping into people. My speed keeps getting like completely like stiffed by the fact that there's someone in front of me. Yep. Oh, I missed the arrow. Oops. Oh, take a second. Let's go. So Trev, four diamond one. So from first place, it starts at 5% and then it goes down by a percent per place. And so for you, it's 6% down. So seventh place is break even. Uh, but for me, seventh place is minus 1%. And for Danny, it's diamond. I mean, you still get plus 1% for seventh, I think, right? I think, I think seventh, I got two. Oh. I think. So yeah, I'm worried that diamond two is straight up just gonna be like, I'm gonna be like getting 4%. For first, like I, you have to get first, just get four percent. Now, is that affected by the fact that we're all in the party together? That's true. I don't know. I wish they told you those things. If it is the case where you're in a party and it does that, it should like it should make it so that like it shows you like here's your current like placements, like how it'll affect you. Um, matchmaking error. Party field to connect. Huh? Let me let me invite you guys. Is it dead? Maybe it's dead. I guess we're just too good at rocket racing, guys. We killed yep. it. Yep. There's no there's no more players up here of equal skill. Yeah. It uh it killed it. Unfortunate. The game has decided for us that we are done. Well, GG's.